Welcome to another video. I got this question in a recent email and I actually immediately dismissed it because I said I've done videos on this thing before and we were able to get the answer because it had to do with the Lambert W function, if you remember. But something came to my mind. What if I show how to compute the values I'm going to be getting without using Wolfram Alpha? Okay, so we're going to compute the second, because this actually has two answers. One, you can get by observation or by inspection, my favorite method. And the second method is actually by algebra. And then we're going to end up using the Lambert W function. But in this video, I will not be using Wolfram Alpha to compute the values. We're going to use a formula to compute the value that we're supposed to compute using Wolfram Alpha. It's going to be fun. Let's get into the video. So the first thing I'm going to say is I can actually predict what X is going to be by plugging in numbers. So if I plug in one, this is going to be two to the one. That's two times two equals four. No, that's not true. But we know that exponential functions grow faster than um, just linear functions. So after a while, this is going to overtake this. We just need to find the point where they're equal. So if I just paying attention, you know that 4 is the value you're supposed to plug in because 2 to the 4 is 16 and 4 times 4 is 16. So x equals 4 is the first obvious solution. Now, if you keep going up, you go past 4, these two will never be equal again because this exponential function has overtaken the linear function and it will, it's not coming back. So if you're looking for another solution, you want to go back down because it's possible that something happened before you got to four. Okay, so what you want to do is algebra. There's nothing else you can do. Now, if you plot this in Desmos, this is what you're going to get. Let's do the algebra and then the calculation. So I can say by inspection, x equals 4 is a solution since 2 to the 4 equals 4 times 4, which is equal to 16. So we've gotten one answer. Now we need to get the second answer, and that's where we have to do algebra with the Lambert W function. So in that case, what do I do? I'm going to go here and I'll start doing all my gymnastics. For the second solution, I'm going to say that 2 to the x um, is equal to, maybe I should put everything together. Okay, let's leave it. Equals 4x. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by 2 to the x. So if I divide both sides by 2 to the x, I'm going to have 1 here. But on the other side here, I'm going to have 4x divided by 2 to the x, which is the same thing as 4x times 2 to the negative x. Okay, instead of you putting this here, I'm going to write it this way because there's someone going. So I have 1 over 4 is equal to, what would this be? This would be equal to x times 2e to the, <laughs> times 2 to the negative x. Okay, remember, okay, if you're just watching this Lambert W function type of video for the first time, there's a special function that helps us solve a product log, especially when you have um, a, a situation like this where you have an exponential function combined with a linear function. It is, no matter how good your algebra is, you can't isolate x. You will have to use the special function. But the special, special function has a special condition to many specials. And this is the condition. We say that if you have, um, let's say, 
e to the i remember that in those videos i used to call the flowers but it's okay please forgive me and this is so if you have this being equal to let's say x then you can apply a function to both sides so that let me call this let's not call it x let's call it um let's call it x okay so that if you apply that function which is the lambda w function e it will be equal to this and this is the lambda w function if you want to get what x is what this will become all you have to do is plug this in plug this value if you want to find what this is oh by the way this is going to give you this value so here it means that is equal to w of x when you plug this in to w you're going to get and that's going to be w of x okay watch the previous video because i don't want to spend time explaining this so now i'm going to leave the link in the description the problem we have is we have x times 2 to the negative x it has not taken the form that we want it to take it has to be the form that what is here is exactly what is here and what is in the middle is e here what is here is not what exactly what is here and the middle is not e so we have to fix all of that so let's begin the first thing we want to fix is make sure that this is e we want to change this to to be a form of e now remember recall i'll need some space recall that e to the ln of 2 is equal to 2 you know this because this will always take this out so instead of writing 2 i can write all of this to replace 2 in this expression okay so i can say that 1 over 4 is equal to x times instead of writing 2 i'm going to write this e to the ln of 2 now this is now raised to power negative x but because we're good algebra students you know that when you have this exponent raised to another exponent you can as well multiply the two of them together so that what we have is x e to the negative x ln 2 and what you have is still 1 over 4 now one more thing we need remember what is on top as an exponent must be what is on the base but how do we do that well what did we do here this has a minus and ln2 which means if we multiply this by negative ln2 and multiply this two by negative ln2 we're fine so we can say if you multiply both sides by negative ln2 you're going to have negative ln2 over 4 will be equal to negative x ln 2 e to the negative x ln 2. Beautiful. And with this, I can take the w of both sides. If I take the w of this, take the w of this, what's going to come out of this is just the negative x ln 2. So I can say that negative x ln of 2 is equal to the w of negative ln 2 over 4. But I'm not looking for negative x ln 2. What am I looking for? I'm looking for just x. So to isolate x, I can divide both sides by negative ln 2. And we got the answer. Let's do that. Okay, let's save some space here. Come on. So from here, I can say that x is equal to w of negative ln2 over 4 divided by negative ln2. At this point, if you have your computer, you can just go to Wolfram Alpha and type this in. Instead of writing w, write product log and then type minus ln2 over 4 divided by negative ln all of it divided by negative ln2, you're gonna get the exact answer of the second answer to this problem. Now, for those of us who wanna do the 
manual calculation because we don't have Wolfram Alpha or we don't have a nice laptop or we don't have, um, what else don't we have? Or we just don't care. Or we just want to show that there has to be an alternative. Remember, you can only use the formula I'm about to give you if you, the value inside the argument here is close to zero. If you're far away from zero, your answer is going to be very, very wrong. Now, I've warned you, don't tell me it doesn't work. It only works when this argument is close to zero, okay? Decimals, whether positive or negative, the closer you are to zero, the more accurate your answer is going to be. And this is what it says. So, the product log of t is equal to t minus t squared plus 3 over 2 t cubed. We have to keep going, okay? Um, this is minus, this is going to be 8 over 3t to the 4th plus 125 over 24t to the 5th. That's it. That's not hard to remember, okay? Just, just to save yourself in case you don't have Wolfram Alpha or you don't have access to the internet, this is what you would type into any computer, any um, calculator that you have and you'll be able to get your answer. So that's what I'm going to do. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to know what this value in here is. Okay? Now in order to save time, I did this negative ln2 over 4 is approximately, I'm going to take it to just three decimal places, it's going to be approximately 0 0.173 negative. So we can say that the answer we're trying to get here is x is equal to the w of negative 0 0.173 divided by negative ln of 2. So in order to compute this value, you just need to go plug in negative 0 0.173 into this. When you get this answer, divided by negative ln of 2, and your answer is going to pop out approximately 0 0.308. 0 0.309, actually. And the correct answer to this is 0 0.31, thereabout. If you use decimals, that's what you're going to see. So this is a pretty accurate approximation when you're close to zero. When you're not close to zero, there are other approximations you can use, or even you can start from this and then use some, um, use Newton's method. Several iterations of Newton's method will get you to the correct answer, depending on the number of decimal places that you want. Okay, but well you have to start right. And this is a good place to start. So if we plug this number in, what we're going to get is going to be, so remember, this is what you plug in as t. You put this here, you put this here, you put this here, put this here, and here also, and make sure you divide by negative ln of 2, and your answer is going to come out. Oh, by the way, also, this only works for the principal branch of the Lambert W function. I forgot to say that. Okay, it is the principal branch of the Lambert W function that this works for. Okay, because that's where we expect to get real solutions. Remember, we're looking for real values. Once you go to other branches, they start giving you complex solutions. So here, you want to stick to the principal branch, and that's what we're using, okay? Because x is real, t is real, everything is real, okay? Um, anything else I need to say? Write the answer. It is approximately 0 0.309. I think 87 or something. And the actual answer here we're supposed to get is 0. 0 0.31, yes. You see that? That's really, really close. Approximately 0 0.31. So, now, use your calculator and raise 2 to this power. You get a number, and then multiply 4 by this number. You'll notice that your answer is about 1.24 on either side. So, this is a pretty good calculation. Use this formula and get your answer to be x. So therefore, x equals 0 0.309 and 
4. That's x1, and let's call x2 to be equal to 4. These are the two solutions. <laughs> Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.